Hi friends, I wanted to start a tutorial on machine learning using Python and Excel because I wanted this subject to become accessible to everybody. The reason is that this subject is mathematically involved. It requires the knowledge of probability and multidimensional calculus. It also requires some serious programming skills. You need to know a scripting language, uh, either Python or R. You need to know a language to be able to program parallelly. And one of the languages is Hadoop. You also need to know relational as well as non-relational databases. And at this point, you may ask me that why do you need so many languages? Uh, well, I will explain it to you as we proceed that these languages are important if you want to become a serious machine learning researcher. But for the moment, just take it from me that these languages are important, but we're only going to use Python among these. Now, I'm going to use Python and Excel because Excel I found to be a very transparent tool which can allow you to understand and develop insights behind these algorithms and Python because you need a scripting language and Python is very easy to learn. So let's get started. What really is machine learning and how is it related to artificial intelligence? You must have heard these terms machine learning and artificial intelligence used together or sometimes even interchangeably. So to define artificial intelligence is a larger subset of machine learning and AI is the study of algorithms which makes machine intelligent, which gives them the capability of taking decisions by themselves. And machine learning is a smaller subset of artificial intelligence because they are also about studying the algorithms which allow machines to take decisions. But they allow machines to take decisions by learning by themselves. You do not actually hard code any rules in your algorithm. And we will see what that means in a moment. So let's open our Excel sheet because we have said that we will use Excel to understand these concepts. So close. OK, so we are looking at an input sheet in this workbook where column A has our input as height and column B has output as IQ. And this is the input that we are going to use to uh, see the difference between AI and machine learning and these input have not been calculated uh, or have, have not been collected on the real people they are just random data and I have used run between function to sorry I've, I've used run between function to get this data run between gives you random value between the upper between the lower limit and the upper limit so I've just pasted this value in column A and column B now to see how it's useful in AI, we go to this AI sheet and we write a, or we hard code a very simple rule here. We say that if A2 is less than 120, then the IQ is 100 plus or it's 100 minus. You can see here that machine will be able to take decision based on this rule. But it's you who have, or who has hard coded the rule here. So this is a very basic form of AI. This is just a decision tree. Now machine learning is slightly more advanced because machine learning will learn the rule to predict IQ from height by itself. Now how do we do that? We go to data, then we go to data analysis, then we scroll all the way down in this list and go to regression and click OK. In the input Y range, you need to put the variable that you want to predict, in this case it's IQ, in input X range you want to put the variable that you want to use for prediction, which is height in this case, and you want to see what machine has learned in this worksheet itself, not in the, any other worksheet. So you go to output range, you go here and you select your area where you want to see the result and you do OK. So here, because I know that how to read this table, I'm going to just write the rule which machine has learned. So that rule is that IQ is equal to 146.088 plus height in centimeters into minus 0 0.026. Now, what I have done is that I've used a tool given to us by machine learning called regression tool. And I've used that regression tool to get this rule. Now this 146.088 came from G19 and minus 0.026 came from G20. I have not explained the regression tool, but for the moment just take it. That regression tool is provided to us by machine learning and we will see it in later 
sessions. But it's a very powerful tool and uh, machine learning can use it to learn from data by itself. So this is what machine has learned. So here is a clear distinction. In AI, you hard coded the rule. And in machine learning, machine learn by itself. So that doesn't mean that in AI, you only hard code the rules. As we saw here, machine learning is just a small subset of AI. So what you did in machine learning is also a part of artificial intelligence. It's just that in machine learning, machine learn by itself. Now, we did say before that we are going to use Python to understand these concepts. So let's code this thing in Python also. So it'll be a cool way to get introduced to Python. Now, I'm not going to show you how to install Python because I'm assuming that you would have already Python installed. But I'm going to start with how to check if Python is installed. So I go to command line in Windows. I have a Windows system and I type Python. And if Python was installed, you will get this information. And the window command line has relinquished the control to Python command line. And here I can run all my Python commands. But I don't like this way of running Python commands. I like the Python editor that comes with Python. So if you have Python installed, you will always find an ideally with it. So you type ideally, and that is the Python editor. So you click on it, and it will open it here. So I want to discuss some basic commands that we will use to understand this concept. So the first thing is you need to know import command because I want to work seamlessly with Excel because all my input data is in Excel. I can use other databases also, but I like Excel because it's very really transparent. So you're going to learn your input from Excel. For that, you need functions to integrate with it. And that's what Excel already gives you. Uh, so you import a module called XLRD to allow you to integrate with Excel. Uh, sorry, there is something wrong. Socket no longer exists. Uh, okay, let's try it again. Import XLRD. All right, I need to close it. So I close it and I again look for ideally. And let's see what's happening. Uh, ideally, no, okay, uh, let's close this also. Ideally, okay, so now it opens. Uh, now let's try again import XLRD. Okay, now it works. So now the socket connection is back. Now let's open the file again that we are supposed to work with. So you need to use import XLRD to import the XLRD module, use its functionality. Then you need to know that what are objects and especially what is list object because we are going to use it. Objects are basically evolved form of variables. In variables, you just can store data, but in objects, you can store data as well as you can define functionality on that data as well as you can define attributes of that data. We are going to use list object and list object is just a way of storing data in an array format. So that's the list. There are two ways to create list. One is this that you've seen just now. Another way is slightly complex way, but it's quite handy when you want to iterate over a loop. Uh, when you want to loop over a list of things. So I'm saying list object give me all the items which is in a loop which is being read right now for item for item in the list that ranges from zero to thousand and voila so using this you have created a list object and you and there you have the list uh, i would also like to talk a bit about if function because as you can see here that we will also be using if function. So if function works like this. If one is less than two, then print right else print wrong. I'm 
there you have it, right? Because one is less than two. So we have learned about import XLRD to import modules. We have learned the list object. We have learned how to create list objects. We have learned if else. We have not really learned for loop, but for loop is pretty simple to understand here. So let's go through this program line by line to see what will happen. So import Excel already will import the module, which will have the functions to read the Excel file. File object opens the function, which was stored in user script use desktop Python files location. Then file sheet marks the sheet that you're going to read. It says index two. The reason is that this Excel sheet has got three sheets, uh, AL, MI, and input. The counting of sheets starts from zero. So this is zero, ML is one, and input is two. So that's why I have written two here. Then in list input height, which is a vector, it reads the individual objects in the entire A column one by one. So in the list input height, it's going to read the entire row A2 to A86. Similarly, in list input IQ, it's going to read the entire input from B2 to B86. This one. And then it's going to loop over all the items in list input height and see if it's less than 140 and then say that the IQ is more than 120. If the height is greater than 140, it's going to say that the IQ is less than 120. See that we have not used list input IQ here because uh, we are just showing how AI works and not getting into machine learning. I can do it here, but that's going to be more complicated. So let's stop for now and let's recap what we have done. So we have defined AI, we have defined ML, and we have defined the relationship. We have also implemented a very simple problem that is predicting IQ given height. And we have learned some cool Excel functions such as ran between and if function and regression tool, which is essentially a tool provided by machine learning. And uh, we have also learned some cool things in Python. We have learned how to check if Python is installed. We have learned about Python editor. We have learned about some functions such as import and if. And we have learned about some cool data structure such as list. And we've also seen the difference between variable and objects. So the takeaway should be this, that machine learning is a subset of AI and it learns by itself without human intervention from data. Excel is an awesome tool to learn ML with small data sets. Python is an amazing language for learning machine learning. So I'm going to end the session here with us uh, with a teaser for the next session. In the next session, we're going to see that what is exactly the machine learning is learning here and why learning is possible. For example, in this Excel sheet, machine learning learned this function. But what is the intuition behind this function? So thank you for staying with me and see you next time.